first of all, I just want to say I'm so grateful to be here um, and so grateful to be a part of the dance community. I feel like I am who I am because of dance and the opportunity that it has given me to feel completely self-expressed. So keep doing what you're doing. It's very important. So thank you guys for having me. Um, <laughs> and I'm also just so excited because when I found out that my friend, uh, my really good friend, Kyle Hanagami, was being awarded tonight, um, I had to be here. I absolutely had to be here to support him. Um, he has impacted my life, the dance community, but also different cultures around the world connecting us all together through his amazing choreography. <laughs> and I know he still has like way more to do. So like he's just getting started, which is amazing. In the span of 11 years, Kyle Hanagami has become one of the most influential choreographers on social media with over 3 million followers on YouTube and over 450 million views. Like what? That's insane. Um, he's making his mark in Hollywood and inspiring dancers all across the globe. His work has been seen on television shows like Seeing Your Face Off, X Factor, and Nickelodeon's How to Rock, with many, many more things, but we are gonna show those later. But Kyle has also worked as the uh, supervising choreographer for World of Dance and Jennifer Lopez's show All I Have in Las Vegas. Kyle travels the world assisting the next generation of dancers to take their place in the dance industry, which is incredibly admirable. Um, I think he's going to Thailand for literally like 24 hours or something like that in the next couple days just to teach and um, give his talent to, uh, to people all over the globe, which is incredible. Kyle and I first met first, yeah, first met four years ago when um, my brother and I had our tour, Move, and um, which was so fun. And we were so blown away by not only his talent, but his charisma, his dedication, his generous spirit. He really, truly is amazing. And we continue to work together for the, the next two tours that we did together. And we honestly can say that it would not have not been the same without Kyle. In fact, it never would have got done if Kyle was not there to whip us all into shape. Um, not only does Kyle have extremely artistic and creative abilities, but his presence demands the attention for excellence from everyone in the room. And that's what I mean by we literally couldn't have done it without him. He whipped us into shape. Um, work aside, though, Kyle has become a dear friend and impacted my life in so many ways, uh, more ways than I can even count. And I'm so incredibly grateful to know him and be on this journey that we call life together. In 2015, Kyle's world changed when he was diagnosed with cancer and decided to share it with the world. As Kyle says, my leukemia is an ongoing battle, but it's something that will not stop me from reaching my dreams. I only have one life, and I'm going to live it, with or without cancer, the only way I know how, full out. And I hope you all do the same. He's not just a dancer. He's not just a choreographer. He's an advocate for love and acceptance. Love for people, love for movement, love for life, which is why I instantly grabbed hold of him and I'm never letting go. Sorry, Kyle, you are not getting rid of me. You are stuck with me forever. <laughs> Please welcome the incomparable Kyle Hanagami. Hi guys, can we give it up one more time for the amazing Julianne Huff, who is honestly, she is a gem in Hollywood and she is one of the sweetest people that I have worked with in my entire life and I am so grateful to have you as a friend, I really am. 
I know. <laughs> um, I was telling Julianne backstage that I actually have terrible stage fright, which is probably why I'm a choreographer and not a dancer. So if I stumble over my words, please forgive me. Um, first of all, thank you to the Industry Dance Awards and Dancers Against Cancer um, for putting such an incredible event to bring everybody together. Um, a huge thank you also to Tabitha and Napoleon, who are my mentors in the industry. They are... They have given me the tools to succeed in this business, but what's more important is they are incredible people as well. And if you ever see them just be parents, it's like one of the greatest things in the entire world to watch. So a huge thank you to them. Um, thank you to every single dancer and assistant who has ever worked with me on any job. You guys make every single job that I do not feel like work, which is really, really important to me. And to every teacher and studio owner, thank you for creating dancers that are also phenomenal, help bring my work to life, but also just good people. Um, and it's crazy being up on the stage with people like Tina Landon and Liz Imperio and Paula Abdul and people who have paved the way for choreographers like myself to be able to make a living off of what I love to do. So can we please give them one more round of applause? Um, cancer is really difficult. It sucks. It really does. Um, but it did give me a new perspective because when you're living on borrowed time, you learn to appreciate the things, but more importantly, the people who are in your life. So to all the people who are living there, living with cancer, all the kids who are living with cancer, don't lose hope because you can make it through it. And even if one small part of my journey that I put out on social media helps you get through, it'll make everything that I've done worth it. Thank you guys so much for the award, I appreciate it.